Oh, we won this energy crisis. The energy drink report. And today we'll be reviewing Zenergy. Uh, I was going to present, uh, you know, uh, pronounce it as X Energy, but no, the correct pronunciation is uh, Zenergy. I actually looked it up online. That's right. So, uh, you know, Zenergy promoting the UFC got a nice picture of uh, John Bones Jones, good friend of mine actually. You know, I actually went to a couple of his. Uh, uh, fake rest. I mean, uh, UFC fights. You know, uh, you know, screw it. Everyone knows it's fake, okay? I'm just saying. Compared, I, I'm, I'm gonna get off topic here for, my, for a moment to avoid any arguments. Compare the UFC, okay? Someone's on the ground, right? He's got him pinned and he's like <laughs> clawing, like, he's like clawing at the, you know, the, uh, the ring like he's, uh, like he's getting like his leg amputated. Backyard wrestling, if that happens, in five, literally less than a minute, you'll have some guy curled up in a ball screaming in pain. I'm just, I'm just saying, that's how it goes. Uh, so anyway, let's get back to review here. Zenergy and Cran Raz flavor. Uh, limited edition collection, so I'm going to be saving this can for the rest of my life. Um, Alright, nutrition facts. Serving size is 8 ounces. Servings per container are 2. Zero calories. Yep. Keeps it going. More people. That means you can beat the crap out of more people. You know, just keep on going, right? Total fat, zero grams. Uh, no, nothing, no fat. Um, cholesterol, zero, uh, zero milligrams. Sodium, 160. Uh, potassium, 15, etc., etc. Zero grams of sugar. Probably loaded with artificial sweeteners. Ingredients, carbonated water, citric acid, taurine, sodium, citrate, natural flavors, fruit and vegetable juice for color. Um, caffeine, potassium sorbate, that's a preservative. Sodium benzate is another preservative. Calcium D, etc., etc. Garana extract. Cerakos, etc., etc., ginseng, and so on and so forth. All right, caffeine content. Wait a minute, what's this? 11.5 milligrams of caffeine per ounce. Oh, well, that's a nice way to put it. How come they just couldn't put it uh, such and such for eight fluid ounces and uh, such and such, you know, for uh, whatnot? But no, nope, gotta be 11.5 per ounce. So guess what I'm doing here? Breaking out the good old calculator and pen. Going accountant style here. Going accountant style. Let's see. All right. What do we got? 11.5 times 8. All right. We got 92 milligrams of caffeine for every 8 ounces. And 11.5 times 116. 184 for this entire container. So actually not that bad. Uh, I would be happier right now if they uh, had simply... Um, you know, simply, uh, basically just specified it, but I'm cool with this, you know, I'm cool. Not getting on my nerves. So, uh, once again, uh, packaging here, limited edition can. You got, uh, John Bones Jones, uh, face looks like he's punching you on the, uh, the front here. Uh, Zions, it says here. Uh, I'm going from the translation of, uh, his energy. <laughs> Zions. Maybe it's just X, Y, and I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> extreme science for your active lifestyle. That's what it says there. Typically, I uh, go by a spiel, you know, on the back here. But there is none. Oh, made in the USA. Good to hear. Good to hear. Uh, I'll read you a little warning. Warning, not for children, pregnant women, or people sensitive to caffeine. Too much caffeine may cause nervousness, uh, irritability, Sleeplessness and occasional rapid heartbeat. Mixing with alcohol is not recommended. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good to me, right? So, uh, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's open this bad boy up and pour it into my beautiful Pilsner glass. I was worried the thing was going to snap off when I was opening it. Nothing I could determine here. Let's pour it out. Well, it's a entertaining flavor. It's a hot pink, kind of. Oh, and, uh... Actually, I, I don't need anything. I got a, got a napkin right here. I just spilled the time. No, I got, I'm, got, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. No worries. Yeah, so I want to make sure everything's, uh, everything's good. Let's see. Am I going to make it in? All right. I didn't. I didn't. But uh, the color here is uh, entertaining, I'll tell you that. i tell you that. Look at this. Entertaining color. It's like a uh, purple, kind of. Like a pink purple. Pimp and purple, maybe. 
But uh, not not bad actually. Kind of I should say like a cranberry mm -hmm. color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nailed it. Uh, it is kind of carbonated here. I could tell. Not bad. It smells uh, exactly like it says. A uh, combination of cranberry and raspberry. Actually, it smells like... Actually, by the way it smells, I think it'll taste pretty darn good. So, why not? Let's give it a try, okay? Very fizzy, very carbonated, hypervescent. Uh, one thing... Flavor isn't as strong as I would expect. Taste more like the flavor you could expect in a uh, like a cran or cranberry slash raspberry flavored ice pop, rather than something in it like uh, something in an energy drink. But uh, it's bearable. I actually like it. I don't mind it. I think it's good. Not bad. You get a pleasant cranberry slash raspberry flavor. Yes, it would have been more satisfied if it was a little, uh, a little stronger type of flavor, in my opinion. But, what can you do? You know, it's still decent. It's decent. Not bad. Let me take my suit jacket off right now. If that doesn't bother you at all. Suit jacket could go here. Yeah, I'm wearing a three-piece suit. Like, 78 degrees outside. I don't care. And, uh, how about... How about my little set here could go? I want to get my elbow room. Gotta be comfortable to do an energy drink review, you know? Brand new dress shirt, too, showcasing it off here. Nice collar here. Try to go with it. I'll showcase that later on. Anyway, but yes, uh, very nice uh, cranberry slash raspberry flavor here. I like it. I can le easily drink it. E easily just pound it down, you know? Quite easily. And it leaves a pleasant uh, aftertaste too, like a raspberry aftertaste as well. Nice, good stuff, good stuff. Effectiveness I cannot do, however, last week's effectiveness. Monster mixed. Oh, and here comes the grand uh, 12 a.m. chime. This is gonna be nice. Uh, anyway, the, grand, uh, the uh, monster mixed very well, kept me up until 5.30 a.m. That's good, you know? Kept me up late. Nothing better than uh, watching the sun uh, come up at 4.57 a.m. It's always a sight to see. I had like 50 birds chirping outside when I was trying to get to sleep. But uh, what can what can you do there, you know? Uh, however, yeah, so effectiveness was really good. I recommend you go out and get that. About a six hour effectiveness there. Is this worth it? Uh, $2 about. Could get your all-star collectible can with beautiful picture of John Bones Jones. And uh, who knows? Maybe they have... Uh, all kinds of pictures of other uh, UFC fighters, you know? You never know. You have to look around. But, uh, I just picked this one up, uh, so I go to this, uh, one gas station store on my way to the bus stop to take the public bus home. And so I'll, I'll browse around in there. Typically, I'll get a Monster or a Red Bull. But I saw this, and I figured, you know, why not get this, you know? Get it. I'll review it. I'll have to take a look on Tuesday when I go back in and uh, see if they have anything else. You know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll walk out with whenever it's energy. So, uh, all right. That's about all for now. The current time is 12.01 a.m. It was Energy Crisis, the Energy Drink Report. This was Energy. So uh, what else do I have to say here? Weather wise, it's supposed to be uh, 85 tomorrow. I feel like 91. It's going to be nice. I'll be in a uh, maybe even a three-piece suit. I'm not going to care, you know. Just if you get too hot, you take the jacket off. Then you can take the vest off. Loosen up the tie, roll up the sleeves. Unbutton, unbutton the top button or two, and then you'll look like you hit the bars, you know? No big deal. Uh, so about, I suppose, uh, that's all I gotta say. Memorial Day break going down. Thursday and Friday, didn't even leave the house. It's fine with me. Taking it easy, you know? Boy, if he's doing well. Got a turkey that comes into our yard now. Wild turkey. Damn thing is sitting there on the deck like a, a bird perched there watching the world go by. But hey, if he's comfortable... I don't mind. Something to brag about, right? <clears throat> so, I shall put an end to my my uh, monologue right here and now. Once again, this is Energy Crisis, Energy Drink Report. That's all for now. Bye-bye.